Hello again ladies and gentlemen, this is Anthony at Firewalls.com and today we're going to be discussing interfaces. To get to this page I went to Network Interfaces and you can see here I've already got my external and internal networks defined but let's go ahead and edit these just to check it out. Now, this is our WAN interface and you can see here we can give it a better name. For instance, let's say we're using Comcast. Call it our primary WAN. This is our external interface. Here we can set whether it's static, dynamic, or PPOE. Address subnet, as well as our gateway. You can see here we also have options for IPv6, which you'd have to enable, add here. We can also create a secondary network if you have an IP block that is routed to your WAN interface. Under the Advanced tab, you can see here in some cases you might need to change your link speed if it's not automatically negotiating. Or set a custom MTU. You can override your MAC address. For instance, if your modem is MAC filtering, you don't want to have to get a hold of the ISP after you install your new firewall. Some IPsec settings. We can also set some quality of service if bandwidth management was already enabled. And you could have some static binding so that you could specify traffic only being allowed from these MAC slash IPs. For now we're going to go ahead and cancel this because we're already set up. You can see here this is our internal network. We'll go ahead and walk you through that as well. Again we could change this to accounting LAN. It's going to be a trusted interface. So you can see we've got other options that we'll get into here momentarily. So our interface IP address as well as subnet. Here we have some DHCP options. We can either create a DHCP server, setting our lease time, defining the DHCP pool, reserve IPs by MAC address. You're generally going to use your interface IP as the gateway, but you could specify a different one. Here we can direct our DHCP traffic to our DNS servers. WIN servers, or we could simply set up a relay and point to our pre-existing DHCP server. Again, we have options for IPv6, secondary networks. We also have an option for access control based on MAC address, and our advanced tab has the same options we've already discussed. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that, and we'll discuss the other interface types. Let's call this our IoT DMZ. So in this case we're going to use optional interface type. So you can see here we also have custom, which really gives us the same options. We can disable the interface. It's always best to disable interfaces that aren't in use so somebody can't just plug into your firewall and have access. We could bridge it with another interface. We can mark it as a VLAN or set it up for link aggregation, which we would finalize the setup for over here. But for now, like I said, we're just going to make this a DMZ. Our DMZ has static IPs, so we're not going to worry about DHCP. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and do some access control. This will prevent somebody from just plugging into my DMZ switch and having access to the network that way. So we'll restrict by MAC address. Let's say our DVR's address is 00AA11BB22, and you can probably guess CC. All this are DVR. And there you have it. You should be able to set up whatever type of interface you might need. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit that like, subscribe for future content. Feel free to check out firewalls.com for your more advanced needs, where, as always, we remind you, Get secure, stay secure. Thanks.